What I eat in a day? Now, before I start this, what I eat in a day, if you are judgmental about what people eat, especially when they're fat, please scroll past. This was one of those days where I literally ate so fucking much. God knows how much I spent on food today. But I love that you have to preference it right before you start the video, just to make sure everybody knows that there's about to be some absolute insanity in this video. And you're basically forgiving yourself for the bad behavior. And what I love about people in the UK, okay? And I'm not saying this happens to everybody in the UK, but it seems like it's a phenomenon, especially around the people like Corey's world and his group of friends specifically. And also as to a certain degree, it seems like also Becky, Becky Jones. But for some reason, these people will always go, I drank so much, or in their words, Oh my god, I literally drank so much last night. It was insane. So, in order to remedy this, I need to eat insane amounts of food. By the way, I think we should point this out. Do you know how many calories you guys are probably drinking on a daily basis? Like, there are literal times where people can drink their entire calorie, their entire day's worth of calories in just one night. I've seen it multiple times. There are plenty of people out there that have no idea that the, the alcohol they're drinking contains a lot of calories, okay? It's not just something like zero calorie. No, this stuff has a lot of calories in it. So when you eat a lot of food to remedy the fact that you drank a lot of alcohol, just be, just be weary that you are drinking a lot of calories, okay? And which is also not very good for you because if you're drinking so much every single time and also apparently I didn't know this, but in the UK, you guys have like a serious drinking problem. I don't know what is going on over there. Why do you guys drink so much, okay? Like I thought, I thought Americans were alcoholics or at least alcoholics in the fast food industry and stuff like that, but it seems like you guys outdo us, okay? Like why do you guys want that record so bad? We don't even like to represent it. Like if you ask an American guy, hey, what do you think America's all about? And that dude's gonna most definitely say it in a very sad, sad tone of voice. Fast food, obesity, diabetes, UTIs, water parks, that's the best one. Movies too, I guess. Uh, if you're from America, represent for the movies, okay? Films, that's what we do best, okay? I get it. Other countries, Bollywood, they have their own Indian movies. Nobody watches Bollywood movies. Nobody, okay? I get it. Like in Korea, you guys have like, I don't know, like Hunger Games for Japanese people. Like I get that, cool. But like here in America, even though our movies have been progressively been getting ass and ass and ass, we still have good movies here, okay? We have a culture of film. So always represent that in water parks, maybe not the UTI parts, but definitely uh, in the UK, you guys have a serious drinking problem, a serious fast food problem, and it might actually be more particular to Macca's, and uh, also Burger King, oddly enough. Why are you guys so infatuated with Burger King? Nobody here in America even knows what that is. Like, people will drive past Burger King and go, what is that? And then they'll go inside like, oh... This is that one place I used to eat like 10 years ago and the floors are just perpetually greasy. The, the employees behind the counter are all like all, probably all smoking weed and they'll probably tell you, what are you doing here? What do you, you actually want to eat this? Like, are you sure you know what this place is? And, uh, but it seems like every time I watch these people in the UK, it's always drinking. It's always a, a, recovering from a hangover. And for some reason, somebody can let me know down below. The remedy for the hangover is almost always unilaterally Mackey's. I don't know why. It's, <laughs> I don't know why Mackey's is always the remedy. Is that like an actual thing? Like when you go to your doctor's office and you go, oh my God, my head hurts so bad. Doc, what do I do? And your doctor goes, yeah, um, I got this great remedy. I'm going to write you a prescription. Just go down to your local Mackey's and get yourself in a double bacon egg McMuffin. Get five of them. Just eat them all. You're going to be great. Trust me. It's going to be amazing. Go ahead and do it. Thank you, doctor. That's going to be so great for me. I appreciate it. That seems like UK lore, pretty much. I literally ate so fucking much. God knows how much I spent on food today, but it was one of those. It doesn't even look good. I I'm guessing these, at first I thought these were fish sticks, but they're not fish sticks. They're probably mozzarella sticks. Yeah, you guys are going to Fridays. You guys have that over there? We don't eat it here either. This is like a very low quality. Hey, you know what? You know, if you're going to eat macaiz as a remedy for your hangover, then I guess this doesn't matter. Days, you know what I mean? I started off the day with a McDonald's Damn. breakfast and then I had TGI's for lunch. Oh, she looks good as a... Yeah. I kind of like the black hair. I'll, I'll give it that. Oh, it's a little cringy. Ooh, it's a little cringy with the locket on the on the necklace. That's a. But at least she does have a neck. That's good. You know, we're we're making steps in the right direction. To have a neck is actually quite essential as a human being. I know a lot of people in the fat communities think that we should forsake necks. I think that necks are presentable aspects of a human being. To see the jawline is quite important. Now, a lot of people may not have a jawline and men have a way to remedy that and it's called growing a beard, but not all men have the ability to grow beards. A lot of men are follically challenged and I'll give you a really good example of that. I have bald spots right here. Can you see it? I don't grow hair there for some reason. And 
I don't think there's anything I could do. I have a few Middle Eastern friends that also have problems growing beards. I know, weird, right? And they put minoxidil on their face, or I guess Rogaine. And they said they have a lot of progress with it, but they also tell me they have heart palpitations when they put it on. So that's kind of concerning. Can you imagine like putting some stuff on your face and your heart is like flipping out because you're putting it on your face? I don't know. Personally, I don't really have a lot of heart palpitations unless I'm having sex with somebody. And if it's really good, then maybe I'll have those heart palpitations, but usually never. And uh, I know they're normal. I know it's normal to have heart palpitations, but if you're doing something and you're just applying minoxidil, and I don't think that's a, you know, I don't think that's probably a good thing. But anyway, um, a lot of plastic surgery, by the way. Uh, people have confirmed to me that it's different in the UK. People are just casually walking around with plastic surgery a lot. And apparently the barrier to entry in order to get this plastic surgery or to become a person that does the plastic surgery is extremely low for certain procedures. So like for lip injections, apparently it's like no, no, non-existent. Like you just need a certain certification. You can just get that anywhere and you're good. You can just get lip injections and maybe filler on the face and stuff like that, which is really, really insane. I don't know why so many people are so, uh, uh they just want to get this plastic surgery to, to the degree that they do. Like, I understand we all have an ina inadequacies. I don't have any lips. Uh, I know my nose is shaped weird. A lot of people used to think I was Jewish in high school, which is really fucked up, bro. Just because I have a really long nose doesn't mean I'm Jewish, okay? That's also really racist, dude. Like, you know what I'm saying? That's like me going like, oh, you have an ankle brace, that therefore you must be black. But it didn't, it never made sense because they were already black. So it was pretty easy for me to judge. Like, it's, you can't really say anything about a black dude in, in the sense, in that particular sense, because like, you can see that they're black. If you don't, you don't know somebody can be Jewish, right? It's not the same thing. It's like very ambiguous. Like you, I had a, I had a Korean teacher and she was Jewish. And uh, a lot of people were like, how are you Jewish? And she was like, I'm just like, I just switched religions. And they were like, oh, you're not like real Jewish. You're like the, the religious Jewish. And then people were very confused about it. But anyway, it doesn't matter. I don't even know what we're talking about. Had chicken sesame strips and these mozzarella dippers. Look at that cheese pole. I, I just don't really care about the cheese poles anymore. I get it. Like you guys like doing that because it makes it more aesthetic or whatever, dude. Man, this overline got to be chilled back a little bit, dude. I'm sick of seeing so many women with this overline your lips are already puffed up like crazy dude i'm literally seeing your lips coming through the door before you and you overline it too god damn have you seen anything? and then also i want to point out right when you get plastic surgery very, very young, you end up looking way older than you actually are. And that's really concerning to me because now you don't even have a movable face and you look like a good 20 years older than you actually are. It looks like somebody injected concrete within your face. Like, yes, it's very puffed up. And I'm sure from a very far distance away, a lot of people will compliment you on your gorgeous, dashing good looks. But like, if you look perpetually 40 and you're 23, then it's a problem, okay? This person right here is 28 years old. Whoa. I did not think this person was 28 years old. I literally thought this person was like 35 or 36 at, at the least, but I'm wrong. It's always like that. I don't know why you guys age so badly. Again, what's up with the tanner too? You guys have so much tanner over there in the UK. It's actually a problem, okay? But if you're gonna get plastic surgery, can we at least try to make it look realistic, okay? I have no problem with people getting surgeries or, or cosmetic surgeries or anything like that. If that's what you want to do, that's your that's your time, that's your money, whatever you want to do, right? But I think personally, we should be a little bit more conscious about the decisions we make because a lot of people just kind of get the surgery and then just like think they look amazing or maybe they have like really major body dysmorphia. So they just don't really register the fact that their faces look like, I don't even know, like cardboard cutouts of Squidward. Like you don't look good. Glorious with your chicken strips. Are you a dipper in the sauce or do you pour the sauce all over your chicken strips? I'm a dry dude. Uh, I really don't like a lot of sauce on anything I really eat. It's okay sometimes on a cheeseburger, but that's only because I need a little bit of lubrication on mine. Sometimes it can be a little, a little bit dry. And I also grew up with McDonald's and McDonald's defaults puts ketchup on your burger. And what can I say, dude? I am a whore for McDonald's. I'm completely fine with saying that. And I also think uh, if you're contaminating your food with lots and lots and lots of sauces, I don't actually think you like the food that you're eating. I think that you're just coating it in whatever flavor that is. I think you like the flavor that you're coating it in. So if that's ketchup, barbecue sauce, mayonnaise, which seems to be a predominant condiment in the UK, which is not something we do here in America, you will find some people using mayonnaise, but you'll never find anybody dipping something in mayonnaise. That's insane. Here in America, we have the right culture. You in the you in the UK? No, it's not even close. Matter of fact, it, 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 I would rather dip my my fries in like your Big Ben water, like that the water next to the Big Ben, I would rather dip it in that than mayonnaise. You guys are on some different shit. Because I'm definitely a dipper. They're so fucking banging. Oh my god, I could eat these all over again. And another insane. I, but that's not really saying anything at all. Somebody if somebody says these were so good, I could eat it again. Uh yeah, I know. Like that's the entire purpose. I fucking hope so. You think that they, you think these restaurants are going like, oh man, I really hope these people only eat this one time. No, they want you to eat it again. Cheese pole. 
and then afterwards we shared yeah you that's kind of crazy bro you went way overboard with this shit dude jesus christ you already had makis for breakfast and then you went to tgi fridays which is really crazy by the way for a lunch i can't even believe you did that tgi fridays is a deplorable establishment you're likely to get stabbed like there's like a 50 percent chance like if you go in you're probably gonna get stabbed and robbed this brownie dessert and to be honest i only had like two mouthfuls it was so sickly yeah uh you it didn't look good at all it literally looked like it was already defrosted before they even got it to your plate it looks like they don't even have a freezer back there and they just found this off the floor or something like that but, you know, then again, um, it really doesn't matter because, let's be honest here for a second, you literally started your day eating McDonald's and then you went to TJ Friday's, which is insane. You went to a, a literal dinner restaurant in the middle of the day. Craziness, dude. Your diet is literally fermented. And afterwards, we shared this brownie dessert. And to be honest, I only had like two mouthfuls. It was so sickly. Yeah, I'm uh, bro. I don't know what it is, but sometimes I look upon the McNuggets and I always think this is depressing. This doesn't look like food that people should be eating. Am I wrong on that? It looks like somebody's dried lips. It looks like somebody that forgot to put on Vaseline for like four years and now they're trying to kiss you, which I've had happen to me before. I remember when I was like 14 years old, there was this girl and everybody was telling me that she was so cute and she wanted to date me and i was like this is you're a liar like you're you're lying and then she sent me a note and she said do you want to date me and i was like i guess like i mean I'm, i literally will never ever have an opportunity like this ever again in my entire life and this girl literally had the most crusty lips you ever saw in your entire life but then again like i'm not complaining i'm 14 years old and i have no idea what standards are in general but anyway i remember like they forced me not forced i guess it was peer pressure and even the teacher looked away when i kissed this woman uh this girl i guess i don't know like we were 14 so but she had i remember literally like we were in the classroom and she was there and she was looking at me and she had these like very voluptuous lips but they were peeling and they were crusty and they were falling off as she puckered her lips like as she puckered her lips I was seeing skin flakes falling off onto the table below it and I was so disappointed in myself that I was even in a position like that to begin with and I did it and as soon as I put my lips to her lips I felt the moisturization of my body transfer over to hers almost kind of like I don't even know dude like I was like Hillary Clinton sucking on the the the, the energy or like I was like Emperor Palpatine in that scene of episode 9 where he was like sucking Adam Driver and, da and Daisy fucking Ridley's force energy to become, you know what I'm talking about? Like, I felt like I aged two years uh, just from kissing this girl. And it was an undelightful thing because right after that, uh, when I removed my lips from her lips, which made me realize that I my lips might have turned to stone, kind of like when Medo Medusa looks at you. And I had to like wipe, but I didn't do it right away. So I had like crusty, you know, white, skin flakes on my lips and i didn't wash them away right away because i didn't want to be like oh what the fuck like i didn't want to do that right after i kissed a girl because that would be really disrespectful so i did that like a good three minutes later when nobody was looking and i swear when i did that i was like this and it was like so i was like oh my god there was and here's the thing she was black i was white there's no excuse for me to have more moisturized lips than you that's crazy anyway this is what that reminds me of it looks like the girl's lips that i kissed it's when it gets a bit too far and not far. Yeah, okay, you're gonna need- Okay, bro, listen. I know a lot of people like the McFlurries. I, I understand that. You're a bad person if you get McFlurries. They're not good. I don't know what to tell you about that, okay? There's never a single time ever that anybody should ever get a McFlurry unless you want to die. Unless you want to literally ruin your diet. Like, and you just want to make bad decisions. Like, you know what I'm talking about? It's just like a fuck it type moment. And if that's that's what you want to do, you want to have a breakdown, you want to have a, a crash out, fine, no problem. Go ahead and get a McFlurry. It is the first step. Buy a McFlurry. The rest of your day is fucked. Enough just yet. We then Dipping it in the McFlurry is crazy. I don't know what the fuck I tell you about this shit, guys. I know a lot of people do like that. A lot of people were telling me, no, David, you should dip your fries in the McFlurry. They're really good. First of all, who's buying a McFlurry? Nobody. And then also, do using it as a dip is insane. You're literally dipping your shit in not even good ice cream literally the worst kind of ice cream it's barely ice cream then took my best friend's sister to mcdonald's and decided to all share some chicken nuggets dude we so you went to mcdonald's and then you went to tj fridays and then you went to mcdonald's really think about that schedule like you just don't have a good life like i get that you think this is good and because you're living your best life or whatever and you just don't have like responsibilities or whatever but this is deplorable activities dude like your ancestors are literally looking down upon you and going is this what we did is this how we facilitated this like i literally died in world war one on the trenches okay like i was in the fucking trenches dude and my foot fell off in the first four days 
Uh, and you know what, dude? Like, I didn't die for this. This is ridiculous, bro. Like, my entire... I thought that we were going to be successful individuals. And I guess she is successful to a certain degree. But this woman is literally eating more food here than I've literally eaten in my entire life. Like, when I was in the trenches uh, uh, over there in fucking Germany, dude, when I was fighting these guys, I was literally sucking on fermented weevil bread for four months. And then eventually I died because I had dysentery. I didn't even die from a gunshot wound. I died because we didn't have modern technology to help me. And my best friend died of like fucking athlete's foot of the mouth like it's you know what i'm saying that that's, that's what it'd be like you know just looking down at this woman and just thinking about all the inadequacies that you you didn't you had and that you would have been better off if you lived at this time frame and you see somebody like this actually taking advantage of it and just becoming obese i don't know what we're talking about there um i tried dipping it in the milkshake it's not even that good dude come on now it was absolutely vile but yeah well why'd you do it then I, I could have told I'll you that to anybody could have told you that anybody would have told you that that wasn't good literally anyone would have said what the fuck are you doing as soon as you see you taking the mcnugget and dipping it they would go the mcdonald's employee themselves would be like yo smack that shit out of her hand and go what do you we don't even do this this is a fermented this is a, a a forbidden technique that you're doing right now you need to stop yourself if you're doing this right now i'm actually concerned uh are you about to rob a bank later are you gonna murder somebody because this is actually worse than that barbecue sauce then i had a maltese and mcflurry these are my fave although yeah, so you had another mcflurry yo you're kind of going crazy right now if you go to mcdonald's and you show up at that register more than once you got a problem bro you really spinning the block on the mcdonald's register like that you're crazy bro get your shit together man you're really making improper decisions how much chocolate they gave me there's not even are you sure that's chocolate it kind of looks like maybe like rat poop from the back dude which i wouldn't even be surprised like if you go to a mcdonald's and there isn't mice if there isn't like mouse traps in the corner then what do you that's not a real mcdonald's that's an illusion <laughs> that's like uh yeah that's a that's that's what the aliens want you to believe is mcdonald's okay if you go in there and there's not a mouse trap or a homeless guy sleeping on the floor you're not at a real mcdonald's okay that's a that's a for that's not a real thing that's an illusion literally nothing even though easter's all about chocolate happy easter to you too is easter all about chocolate never in my life would i ever heard somebody say easter's all about chocolate is that really what it's about? Are you sure it's not about literally the bunny or eggs? I would have thought those two things would be the number one things, but I guess Easter is all about chocolates. Can you believe that? That That's great. Yeah, that's so incredibly amazing. That's like somebody saying like, oh, Valentine's Day is all about chocolate or like roses. Like, no, it's not. You're missing the entire point. And matter of fact, that's actually really terrible. You got some big back shit, actually. God damn. Like, you, you're like you're completely missing the entire point of Easter and you're just you're just basically diluting it down to the food at which you can eat. That's crazy, bro. You really big backed as fuck if you said that. McDonald's and that. Damn, another McDonald's? Bro, yo, yeah. There ain't no way you went to McDonald's thrice. That's insane, bro. This woman got to calm the fuck down, bro. She really out here spinning the block on McDonald's three, four times in a day. These McDonald's employees at this point just got to be like, oh, you back again, huh? The regular? Like, Jesus Christ, woman. And you might as well just get a job here, dude. You might as well get some discounts or something. About one o'clock in the morning. Damn, starving. bro. starving. Also feeling a bit hormonal. Now, I never get a burger, but for some reason... Uh, you know why you probably feel hormonal? It's because your body is so incredibly malnourished at the thought of, like, what you're eating that it just can't produce any types of hormone like what am i looking at right now is this a chin what is this is this your what what is this a sternum i don't know what i'm looking at then i was craving it so i got a big tasty yo a big tasty i'm not gonna lie to you we don't have big tasties over here in america for good reason because listen if you if you were with your boys one day and your boys was like, yo, guys, you trying to go to Mickey D's. You guys trying to get some, you, you guys trying to get some food. And a dude goes, yo, bro, what you trying to get? And you go, I'm trying to get that big and tasty. There is a 25% chance that somebody will whip out dick at that particular moment. And you will be fulfilled in the mouth with a big, with a penis. That's a fact. A big tasty sounds insane, bro. Big tasty sounds like a porn star's name from the nineties, bro. Like a big black man with big calf muscles. Like that's what I think of a big tasty, bro. I, I, I can't even believe we have a name like that. Big tasty. What are you doing? Normally, I'm a classy little chicken select gal, but not tonight. Then some of these spicy cheese melt dippers with some. Yeah, you really eating this shit, bro? <sighs> yeah, I gotta keep it. Up. I don't know where she living, where you could be at 1 a.m. in the morning eating McDonald's in a parking lot. You're crazy, bro. You, 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 you're literally, you're literally running the lottery on this shit right now. If you don't get robbed or stabbed at the bare minimum. Play a number, dude. I don't know what to tell you. Our cream sauce, and I was done for the day. Ooh. Yeah, I fucking hope so. You spun the block on Mickey D's three times. That's insane, bro. And you went to TGI Fridays. You're fat as fuck. Why eat a day? Guys, I am back in my toast era. 
and I don't know how I lived a life not knowing about milk bread. I'm not- You should be on that water drinking era. You should be on that low calorie era, dude. You should be on that fucking taking responsibility era. You should be on that stop overlining your lips and making your eyelashes literally thick as fuck era. God damn, that shit ain't it, bro. I'm literally seeing the top of your forehead is missing the tanner from down here. What are you doing, man? Make some better decisions. Crusty kind of gal, and this bread has got no crust. It's stunning. Obviously, I smothered it in butter. Then I went to my favorite. People that don't drink crust, I'm sorry, people that don't eat crust, what do you, why? Why is that such a big deal for you? Like, when I go to, over to an adult's house and I see that they leave the crust on the table, I'm judging you. I'm judging you quite a bit. That's weird, bro. What is wrong with you? It's, it's literally just bread. Like, why are you this... Uh, whatever, dude. As long as you're buying whatever, dude. Your mom looks pretty good. I'm gonna keep it a buck. She look better than you. With girlies down in vanity for a blow -y. I love- Is that your mom? Yo, first of all, dude, you ain't saying- You listen, you're not putting E at the end of blow. That's crazy, dude. Blowies? Yo. Stunning. Obviously, I smothered it in butter. Then I went to my fave girlies down in vanity for a blowy. I love a good blowy. It makes me feel like a new woman. Then, guys, how exciting- Yo, what is those- What are these words, dude? People always call me out for not understanding UK slang. Is that not a, is that, that's a sexual innuendo, right? Am I, am I lying on that, dude? Well, you, I, there's nothing that makes me, for, me feel more like a girly than a big blowy. Um, yo, is that, that's what we're doing over there in the UK? Can men say that word without being gay? What are we doing right now, dude? What, are, where are we? And you're sitting here telling me that you're gonna, you're, you're about to get a big blowy and this looks like a strip club. What is going on, dude? What is up? In. This is where I'm having my birthday party. It's going to be Bratz theme. And the venue is literally so me. It's so pink. I can't hate on the Bratz theme. It's okay, dude. It's fine. I mean, she doesn't look like a brat in any way. Maybe like four brats together. But it's like, I can't hate on it, dude. I know dudes that like had birthday parties in like Star Wars era or like fucking, you know, we have cringy stuff too. I can't hate So it. stunning. And I literally cannot wait for the party. It's right opposite Wingy and Nandy's. I got outvoted. So we had to go to Nando's. But this was probably my least favorite Nando's I've ever had. It's like when she eats, she has no expression on her face. Oh, my bad. When she does anything, there's no expression on her face. I caught that like land random drip right there. Did you see that drip? I, I don't think I can go back and get it again. Instead of cheese, she has no expression on her face, bro. She's smiling right now. This is her happy. Put avocado in my rat and it just wasn't it. I went for chips. I don't know why. I never. Baby cucumbers? You bought baby cucumbers? Is that really what we're doing right now? Why can't you just. Okay. I'll go you know for chips. I'm not I got home. Them. I went to have hummus and cucumbers and look at the state of those baby cucumbers. R.I.P. Cukies. I went for a prawny mayo Sally for tea. Wash your Sally, you dirty pig. I literally have the lot. Lettuce. Oh my god. Them. Yo, those shrimps are coated, dude. Oh my god. Why are you buying random. It's better. It's better than the big, the big plates and the big bowls. I'll give you that. But to buy these random heart-shaped bowls, these are not going to fit anywhere in your shelves. So when you put this up on your shelf or your rack, this is going to have to have its own separate compartment. You're going to have to put this, you're going to have to find a particular place for this. Because this is not going to fit in a bowl, and no bowls are going to fit in this bowl. So you're literally just making your life worse. Pro progressively ass. And I know you think you're cute. I know you think you're cute, serving out dishes in heart-shaped bowls, but I don't think you guys realize the sheer chaoticness of this bowl compared to all the other bowls. It's not going to work. I'm sick of people thinking that they're cool or bougie or like they have a whole bunch, oh, it's the novelty of the bowl. I don't care. It's boring. It's, it's it, You guys think you're cool, but it's irrelevant. Stop stop doing weird shit like this, okay? Sweet corn, beetroot, olives, crab sticks, and these feta-filled peppers. Absolutely gorgeous. Then I got gorgeous. hungry at like 11 o'clock in the night. You. 11 o'clock at night eating this too, bro? Whew. So I have to You're not Barbie, dude. Calm the fuck down, bro. You're not. You're really not Barbie. Cheeky Kappa and some lesbian bickies. These were sexy bickies. And True. I had some Jaff cakes. Stunning. Why in a day? Started off my morning with an iced coffee. This one was a vanilla one. You couldn't... I don't know why... Okay, look. Can we talk about this for a second? Just for one second. I just want to talk about this just for a quick second, okay? Coffee. If I see anybody... Okay, if I see anybody buying one of these pre-stirrers, unless you got it from Sheen and it was a dollar, and it was like a dollar or 98 cents, why do you need an auto stirrer? You really can't be bothered to put the spoon in the cup and do this. You can't do that. Is it really that much work for you? What are you burning an extra three calories, dude? You can't do that. You can't burn three calories. Anything to just reserve the calories in there, dude. Stop it, okay? It's really, really unimpressive. I don't like when people do it. By the way, your tanner is crazy. 
This one was a vanilla one and it was absolutely gorgeous. I don't like when the when you have so much tanner and for some reason they don't do your eyes and it looks really, really like I'm seeing the real you under this. Like I'm seeing the skin from underneath the skin and it looks very uncomfortable for me. Also, god damn, bro, these, these eyebrows are so, why do you have to you brush them up? Why are you brushing them up? Like you're Super Saiyan 2 or something. Bracky, I and have why are you got your finger out, dude? Like, what is this? Why is the pinky out? Very granola -y. I don't know what it is about granola, but it's like my fave cereal. And I was still hungry after it, so I had to make myself some toast. This is milk bread, and I love it. I feel like I'm back in my toast era. Me and Mum went for a food shop in Aldi, and Aldi scares me a little bit. I just feel like everyone's on it. It's very fast-paced and overwhelming. I had some crab sticks, and then I made these bulldog noodles. I literally went through a phase of eating these every single day, Can't and then I forgot about them. I mean, I wouldn't... Noodles are usually not the first option for me because they're, like, low-quality food, and everybody knows that. The seasoning powders, I don't know if they're are better in the UK, but usually if you're ever going to get ramen here in America, you're literally sitting on like, I don't know, 80 or 90% of your daily salt intake on one of those packets. And salt intake might not be the worst for most people. And if you drink a lot of water, you might be able to remedy it to a certain degree. But unless you want literal bricks moving through your, your veins, you should probably chill back on a salt. Now I've reminded myself how stunning they are. I feel like I'm going to have them all the time. They're honestly the best. And they, again with these fucking heart bowls. Again with this fucking heart bowl, bro. I would love to see your cabinet just to see where she's putting Noodles these. Noodles I've ever tasted in my whole entire life. I had a cheeky little Kimmy. I just really dislike the way that she does her face, bro. This is Kimmy K's energy drink. And, and she looks... Oh, bro, I literally thought this woman was like 50. No, okay, let me stop. I didn't think she was 50. But I thought she was like probably 35 or 36. Like, I genuinely thought she was 35, 36. That's what I thought. But I thought the same thing for Corey. Like, I literally thought Corey was like in his mid 30s going on 40 at most and it turns out no he's like the same age as this woman like i believe Corey, Corey's world by the way if you don't know what i'm talking about Corey's world it's like i'm talking about this guy like he's my friend or some shit like that but like Corey's world is 28 years old and this woman too is also 28 which is crazy like 28 years old wow i can't believe that oh wow it's lush it tastes like a pink lemonade i ate my nudies whilst watching love is blind uk i'm obsessed i need the other episodes to come out now when we went for a food shop in aldi i grabbed these subway rolls of why do you have to add in extra syllables on rolls one syllable rolls why do you need extra why do you need to put in extra sy what rolls rolls why where is the o's coming from what is that you're literally already doing most of the work on that o's just add r at the top of that rolls not o's why it's like you're stuttering or like you tripped when you were saying it or something Obviously, I had to have it cheese and toasted. I put Ugh. mozzie cheese Ugh. on there, did tuna, sweet corn, olives, and some lettuce. Yeah, I don't know about any of that, bro. Somebody gonna have to enlighten me what's going on. Yo, you gotta do, chill back. Are these paper plates? If these are paper plates, I can forgive it. But it looks like they're not paper plates. You're just irrelevant. This shit ain't fitting in no shelf properly, dude. You literally can't put this. If you're putting this vertically, okay, you might be able to stack them up. Like, if you turn them on the side and put them, like, that way, maybe. But if you're putting them down, like, horizontally, he's putting them down, they're going to get impeded by the back or on the sides. They're not going to be able to put other stuff next to them. Some crab sticks on the sides, and this was absolutely gorgeous. Then I watched Corey for the rest of the eve. I'm obsessed with Corey. What in a day? I went down to the shop to get a meal deal. The shop was Greasy shut, and as the fuck. next door was open. Yo, that's some literal cartoon hot dog, dude. That is the most cartoon hot dog I've ever seen in my entire life, dude. I feel like I've seen this hot dog like so many times growing up while I was watching Tom and Jerry. I've probably seen so many cartoon characters bite into that shit. That's insane. I, I, I didn't even know they made this. Like, I, I genuinely had no idea these things actually existed. Like, they're so, they're so cartoonish. So I had to get a chippy for lunch. Yo, that's crazy, bro. Live your life. Damn, that forehead kind of... For her kind of banging. When I say lunch, it was about half past 11. After I got my lashes done, I grabbed myself a Greg's. Dude, what is your. Can I look at. Hold up. Let me see. After you got your lashes done, they look literally the same. Okay, I'm literally seeing exactly the same eyebrows. Am I wrong, dude? Like, they don't look like they change very much at all. Damn, it's the same face, too. That's crazy, bro. You have no face expression. I got this tuna baguette. It was hard, but it was stunning. Then I went over my best. It was literally expired, dude. These, Leo and Corey's for tea. Corey made us this pasta bolognese thing in the slow cooker. It was absolutely gorgeous. Thank you so much. And he didn't have any garlic bread, so he made us a cheese pizza. True. You don't got garlic bread? Next best thing. Cheese pizza. Instead. But it was perfect, perfect, perfect. I couldn't be bothered to grate this block of cheese, so I just scooped the bowl. That's crazy as fuck, bro. That's some pure big back shit right there, dude. Ain't no way you gonna cheat. 
dip in a block of cheese, dude, in the, in the, in the spaghetti, dude. Mate, he's on the cheese stick, and that was stunning. We went to Tesco on the way home and grabbed some snacks. So God damn, you gotta calm the fuck back. Jeez, man, you all here really body slamming all that shit? The M&M's, the milk bar, the chocolate milk, and the, I, I know what that is right there. This right here, I, I been see Becky Jones swallowing that shit down. That's that pudding shit. That's that chocolate pudding that Becky be swallowing, dude. Milky bar yogurts are my favorite. Oh, my bad. I forgot about the chips, too, of course. Why in a day? Severely, extremely hungover edition. Why do you keep drinking so much that you're having this problem, dude? How often is this happening? You got a problem. You need to, you need to actually get, like, somebody needs to have an intervention with this girl, bro. Too many times. Why are there beans on your shit? Why does this not look edible? What is this? Why does it look undercooked? Is this bacon? Why? What, over here in the UK, somebody please tell me. Why does it look like when you cook your bacon, it looks worse than it did when it was in the package? Why does it look like you were literally swimming in the water of the bacon? It, it's so wet. Here in America, we like it crunchy. We like it crisp. Here in the UK, I don't know why your bacon is wet. Can we, can we talk about that for a second? Why do you guys do that? Mushrooms as well. I like mushrooms, but this is in this is un, this is improper. This is very improper. Okay, not enough tomato. Sorry, not enough ketchup. I don't know what this thing is. What is that? Please, somebody help me. Jen, if you're triggered by fat people eating and enjoying a lot of food, then this video ain't for True. you. True. Another preference. You know, you gotta again. You gotta have that immediate right at the right at the front. You gotta make sure everybody knows that they're a bad person if they judge you because you're eating a lot of food. Just one of them hangovers when I could not stop eating. I've heard this shit way too many times, dude. She has an issue, bro. This is some real addiction problem we have right now. Don't ask me how I made a Toby Carvery breakfast at 9 a.m. in the morning, but I you got another plate. God damn. Did, and it was absolutely stunning. The mushrooms was my- kind of like the way she says, gotcha. Favorite bit. When you hang over, you've got to have an elite choice of- Yo, where's the- where's the water at? You know what? I gotta call- I gotta call this out, bro. I gotta call this out, because I'm sick of seeing this shit, okay? The amount of times that I see two women laying down together in a, in a position, like, even a position like this, right? This girl and this girl sitting on a couch or a sofa or whatever you want, a love seat, and they're together on the bed, or they're together on the couch, if two dudes, if two dudes were in the same position and I walked in, I'm going, yo, why, you sucking him off? Like, are you, why are you being gay right now? Why are the two dudes next to each other on a couch right now? Are you guys gay? Are you sucking him off? And, but when women do it, nobody bats an eye. Nobody looks at that as like it's weird. We need to stand up, okay? We need to stop inferring that when two men sleep together, unless they're spooning or actually gay, it should not be... A negative thing it should not be looked at as being gay when you're sleeping with your friend like i said if you are if i walk in on two dudes and like they're on the bed together and they're like literally 69ing each other and they're like swallowing each other down and stuff like that you might have a case that they're gay sure but if they're just laying together and there's like a good two to three maybe four inches between them it's not gay okay it's normal okay look it's fine to lay in a bed with your friend to get, it might be a little bit uncomfortable, but once you get used to it, it should be okay. And I feel like more women need to wake up to this, okay? More women need to find inclusion. They need to stand up for men because a lot of men are not gonna stand up for themselves. A lot of men will just default, never lay in beds with other men. And here's the thing, um, that's un, that's that's un, that's that's un-American, that's un uk -ian. That should be celebrated across the land, across the world. We should have representation for men to be able to lay in bed or couches together and it not be gay. Um, stand up, that's all I'm gonna say drinks jaffa cakes full moon half moon total eclipse lunchtime we went to greg's and you know i had to get a sausage bean and cheese melt a sausage roll and damn. a nice donut damn we... bro you really you really out here paying greg's rent dude that's all i'm gonna say bro and i do greg real deal getting a lot of money right now can we talk about this really quick to really quickly too why do you have the label still on your on your uh y your lenses this is uh impeding your vision no i guess maybe she's not technically seeing it but this would annoy me to no end okay this is like driving a car and you know when you drive a car when you buy a car on the lot it has the price tag on the like the thing they they like put it in with the mark or whatever that's like driving with that still on the on the the front glass that's what this is like why are you doing that stop it okay it's like people like Whenever I see dudes and they wear their hair like beanies and their hair is in their face, like, you know, on that emo shit, that all-American reject shit, I always think, like, I know you can't see. I know you can't. I know that this is actually impeding your ability to see. Why are you doing this? Like, you look stupid already. You, this is just making me think you're even more dumb. Like, well, I get it. It's like a fashion thing. But you're stupid. Anyway. I'm going to get a Starbucks, but the queue is bigger than my ex's ego. So we Damn. Uh, phew, 
do that drink alone gotta be like five, 600 calories, dude. Out for a Costa. I mean, nothing compares to a Starbucks, but this was all right. I had the caramel frosting. Oh my God, bro. This girl be on some different shit, bro. I think that she might actually be worse than Corey, bro. This girl has no, like, she doesn't care. She has no morals at all. She'll just record the bad behavior. But like, yo, you guys like this? Yeah. <laughs> then a couple of hours later, we were absolutely starving again. So we had to go to KFC. I just and think these people, when they use the word starving, I don't think they actually understand what the word starving means. I don't think these people have ever, like, been without food in their entire life, which is a good thing, by the way. Got a Triology box meal. And of course, you know, I had to add more mayo into my Zinger burger. We were that hungry. We Can you imagine like, like your doctor is going like, what, do, what the fuck is like, I just ran your blood work and like you're 28, but you have the blood work of like a 59 year old. What are you eating? And then she's just like, oh yeah, here's my TikTok. And the guy's just like, oh, okay. So you went to make the, uh, 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 four days in a row. Oh my God. Greg's too. Oh, you've been doing this shit for years. Oh my God. You can't stop yourself? You never thought once this was a problem? Oh my god, this is insane. I'm actually amazed that you're still walking around. Holy shit. That would be your doctor if he saw any of the content that you put on the internet. Insane. Absolutely uncanny. Couldn't even wait to get home. We had to eat in the car. And some corn. Have the juice. Aero bubbles. And then I had a little... <laughs> I'm not gonna say anything, dude. That far quad shit. A late night snack. Giant what's it? Which my Whoa, bro. Actually, I'm I'm gonna say something, dude. I'm gonna say something. I'm gonna say something, dude. Do you guys know about that guy back in the day in China that uh had really bad teeth? That was the um he was like the dictator of China for a really long time. Not Xi Jinping. Was it Xi Jinping? Yeah. Me of Toy Story and a custard slice, absolutely gorgeous. What I ate in a day, extremely severely hungover edition. I this should just be an intervention, intervention. Like, how many times do I have to come across a video from hers and I just hear that she's severely hungover? You got a problem, dude. The first time, okay. Two, three times later, god damn, bro. How much you drinking in a fucking night, dude? You got an issue. Wake the fuck up, bro. You, you, this is a real big problem for you. Intervention, somebody, please help this woman. And Bryce still had my chicken nugs from last night. I think I was still drunk when I woke when up. When your skin, I'm stopped. Be honest, because they were so soggy. My okay, sleep. first time I've ever seen this girl drink water. Thank God. Yo, that for the first time I'm seeing tanner on the, on the neck, darker than the tanner on the face. Oh, well, uh, and look, I'm getting some tanner right here too. My first time ever seeing that. Are you wearing a filter? Is this a filter right now? What is this? Why are your eyes? I don't know. I'm, I'm overthinking I'm starving. it. Oh. I'm so glad I've got a double. Oh, snack packs too. Uh, oh. There's one side for snacks and one side for me. Oh. Holding hoops and dunkers while watching Married at First Sight and I cannot stand this guy in his comments. My mum saved my soul oh. and brought me home a KFC. This Damn. was stunning. It sorted me right out. But look at my face when I realised that they'd forgot my gravy and give me an extra <gasps> corn on the cob instead. <gasps> I mean, I love corn on the cob, but instead of gravy, I don't think so. The chicken was absolutely gorgeous oh. and so was this burger. Then afterwards, I had a little nap. It's oh. got to be done when you're hungover. Oh. That's why I actually look like I've been dragged through a bush. Another day really dunker and then I just started doing my happy dance because I'm always at my happiest when I'm eating. Oh, that's... <sighs> Say the quiet part out loud, why don't you, damn? Bro, you sucking up the residue from the snack pack is crazy, bro. Holy shit. You got some real obesity shit going on right does now. Does anyone else lick the cheese bit no, for dunkers? That's, that, no, nobody does that shit, bro. Yo, get away from me, dude. You literally... You got me on my back right now, dude. This is a lot of food you eating, bro. This is a this is an issue. Am I wrong? Can we just admit this is an issue? Salted hula hoops and my favorite go-to drink, Capri Sun. Why do you guys put a little thing? Here in America, we don't have this. We don't have Capri Sun. We just have Capri Sun. We don't have Capri Sun. Done in. 11 o'clock, I was still awake because I'd napped and I was hungry again, so I had a green pot noodle and some crunchy rocks in bed. I love her. She's great. She's amazing. Uh, her diet is absolutely historically incorrect, but she's living her best life. I don't know what to tell you guys, okay? This one's actually hard. This one was really hard for me to watch. She's actually destroying herself. That's crazy as hell. You get out what you put in, <laughs> and we're seeing it. But anyway, we're going to end the video here. If uh, you enjoyed today's video, I'd appreciate it very big. Leave a like, comment, subscribe, sharing the video. All those things I appreciate tremendously. If you watch the video in its entirety and or you're here right now, leave it down below by typing in comb, comb, comb. Yeah, write down comb down below. They're beautiful things. You can use it for a lot of stuff. If you don't have a fork, it can you you can use it as a fork if you need to. If you don't have a fork, if you don't have a fork, that's weird. 
um, because they're not exactly that expensive. I used to give them away when I used to work in retail. I used to just sell them to people for like literally five, five, five to six cents. Uh, when I would go on my computer and I would just type in fork because they would never actually put the price tag on any of them. So I would type in fork and I would just find the lowest price one. And guess what? It was like five cents. So I was like, oh yeah, it's a pack of like what, nine? Here, here it is for five cents. And people would always come back to my register because I would always tell them, never return this. Never return this stuff. This is actually, I'm literally stealing from this store right now. But it's okay because they're paying me like $9 an hour, okay? They're literally underpaying me. But anyway, it doesn't matter. You're a beautiful person. I appreciate you tremendously. You took the time out of your day to watch me today. Well, I'm taking my time out of my day to watch you every day, all the time. Watch out. That's all I'm going to say. Because I am going to literally look at you consistently for the rest of your life. I can't stop. You're too beautiful. I need to look at you. But anyway, if you want to check my social media, it'll be linked down below in the description. Enjoy the rest of your day, guys. Peace.